Hello everyone, this is Hyowai here. Uh, today I will be reacting to the new Genshin Impact character demo, Shikaku no In Heizo's Cyclone of Investigation. I'll be reacting to this in English, Japanese and Chinese. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let's go! The name's Shikanoin Heizo, sharpest and most successful detective of the Tenryo Commission. Detective agencies spend too much time investigating extramarital affairs and tracking down runaway pets. And it goes without saying that fighting thugs and fetching things isn't my kind of work. A true detective uses their smarts to outwit criminals at every single turn. You keep following the clues until you find the culprit. And you don't stop until every last piece of the puzzle is in place. There are always those people who resort to violence at the very last second, as if that'll somehow solve their problems. Yeah. Yeah. Fracture! <laughs> Is that one of the Arataki gang? Let's members? just hope the rain hasn't washed all the clues away. Okay, so he's a detective, um, but he's very unlike um, the other detective that's in Inazuma. I can't remember her name now. That's quite interesting. Alright, let's go on to the Japanese version. The English voice actor was actually quite good. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about that in there, really. Let's, let's move on. Let's see if they also consider themselves being... Yep, because detective. <laughs> ケガカリにつなげて真犯人に迫り自らの手で破命に最後の人かけらを破め込むまったく最後の最後で武力を使って抵抗する人がいるんだよねどっついでもそれが通用するなんて思ったら大間違いだっへっ<笑> I assume that is definitely his skill or not his first. This is his first. So I wonder if he's similar to Yang Fei in terms of um, his attacks. So she has like a free charge. If you hit three times then you get a larger charge attack. Okay, let's go on to the Chinese one. Let's see how this sounds. 我叫陆野院平藏
So he's got a lot more anger and therefore a little bit more passion when he was saying those lines. The English one was just confess. But again, I think it had a stronger tone than the Chinese the version as well. Fracture. Confess. Yeah, I'm actually quite surprised. Usually the Chinese ones are quite good overall. I think this one's quite one of the weaker performances. I will have to play with the character to see whether or not it actually gets improved or not. But for a trailer, I felt it's a bit too quiet and it gets drowned out by the music. The music is really good, though. Sharpest and most successful detective of the Tenryo Commission. Detective agencies spend too much time investigating extramarital affairs and tracking down runaway pets. And it goes without saying... I mean... Since he has a dog with him, it really makes me wonder if he's supposed to have a companion dog with him. Um, the violin uh, really does bring off the Sherlock Holmes kind of vibe, especially when you realise that he's a, supposed to be a detective. It's quite a nice mix. Um, despite having a jute, which is basically the uh, weapon that he has um, kind of sheathed uh, on his left side, or holstered in his left side, he never actually uses it in the fight. It would actually be nice to see him use it uh, as part of his close combat um, fighting style, even though it's a catalyst user and technically he's not using a weapon. Last piece of the puzzle is in place. Did his dog get kidnapped? The culprit, and you don't stop or was that the other dog that was showing up? Where is that he There are always those people who resort to violence at the very last second, as if that'll somehow solve their problems. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said before, I like how they try to add this elegance to his fighting style by using the anemo to keep him floating. This charged attack is interesting as well. That would add some new dimension to the playstyle. So I'm assuming that his C or his constellations will probably speed up the charge on this attack. I'm not too sure how this works. I mean, the enemy doesn't fly back, so it doesn't seem to have a knockback effect. So is it supposed to apply like a swirl effect, but then it's not an on... Is it an ongoing swirl effect like Kazuha's or Venti's or does it disappear? I love how they just only show the catalyst at the end to kind of tell you that he's a catalyst user. <laughs> but it's um but if this is how they're going forward, I mean obviously it's trying to tell us that they're gonna keep with the same weapon format. They're just going to add different ways that the characters are going to interact with weapons, maybe. Uh, with swords, we know there's going to be a ton of styles that they can still utilize. I mean, you've got the entire martial arts library from China, martial arts library from Japan, and then you've got Hema, uh, historical European martial arts as well that you can apply, and then modern day fencing. Um, pole arms, again, same library from all sources. And then you've got bow. Bow, I reckon, is a bit more harder to do since there's not exactly a lot of styles for bow i mean even with yomiya um her style is very rapid which is very unlike let's say uh, zen archery which is supposed to take your time one shot hits and all that stuff um we see yelen um or uh, yeah yelan who's basically um more Mongolian or more martial arts archery. I mean, you see the way that she kicks her bow, for example, that's more integrating with the um, Chinese and Mongolian um, archery styles where it's not just limited to the hands. Uh, also more kind of like circus performance as well. I mean, there are performances of people performing um, archery shots using their feet as well, uh, just, just with their feet, like pulling the bow and holding the bow with their feet. So there is a range of different um, attacks that they could add. But with Catalyst, I think this is now opening up an entire new dimension of what our Catalyst um, characters are going to be able to do in the future. So we're no longer just throwing uh, fireballs or air at people. We're now going to see maybe... I mean... <laughs> I guess the, the correct term for Western audiences would be um, 
element bending, so like in Avatar The Last Airbender, maybe we'll see someone using Tai Chi for water, um, Hungar for uh, the earth bending for Geo, uh, Shaolin Fist for fire, and then um, Bagua for uh, air bending. That's, that's just a thought. I don't know if they will actually do that, but that is an idea. So we've got close con quarter combat in Hazo. I reckon we might see something kind of meld in and maybe we will we'll create an entire new class of characters who are more close range. I mean, Sucrose, for example, is one of those characters. Her attacks are very close range, her normal attacks. Even her charge attacks are very short ranged. Uh, we didn't get any long range characters until Ningguan. Her attacks are long range. And then later on, um, everyone else at like Yangfei, uh, Kokomi, they're all long range as well. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see um, the range of different uh, attack styles we're going to get from this game. So I assume this dog was kidnapped and then this dog was the one that was accompanying him and these dogs belong to him. Let's just hope the rain hasn't washed all the clues away. Yeah, again, they're very short trailers for four star characters. Uh, I would like to see more... Um, emphasis on them and like more background character story in their trailer as well we don't really see that kind of getting established it does feel like a lost opportunity that they don't um, give us more for these characters but I guess um, most people are going to be trying to pull for the five star limited banner so it makes sense that they put more efforts in the promotion of these characters as well uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed my reaction um, if you like this video, please like the video and um, please subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to reach a thousand followers. Uh, that's the minimum you need to get monetized. Uh, don't even know if any of this content can get monetized. And uh, leave any comments below on how I can improve these videos or if you have any comments or any suggestions that you would like to make yourself. Thank you for watching. Bye.